All right, men, women, children murdered during the Holocaust. Six million Jews died. And today is the day of remembrance. It's known as Yom HaShoah. The Florida Holocaust Museum in St. Petersburg remembers all of the lives lost with a very important reading. 10 News photojournalist Angela Clooney takes you inside of today's services. My name is Betty Grabenshikov, and I am a Holocaust survivor. I'm going to, for the first time, <clears throat> read the names of my own family. My maternal grandfather, Philip Miller, died in Theresien. My maternal grandmother, Jeanette Miller, died in Auschwitz. This is one of the harder things to do, to mention their names out loud. They have no uh, graves. There are no cemeteries that show that they were ever there. Uh, my name is Michael Eagle, and I am the chairman of the board of the Florida Holocaust Museum. At our museum, we spend every day remembering uh, the millions of people who were murdered just for who they are. Um, but today is a day when the world stops and remembers all of the victims. Melkin Maslianski, nine. Emma Mellon, four. When you hear each name and the age of a person, it humanizes that person, individualizes that person, and only then can a, per can a person today really even begin to start even touching an understanding of, the, of what happened. So it's such a deep and personal experience you're, you're reading a name and you can't help but wonder to yourself, you know, what did this person do for a living? What was their family like? Emily Riskin for the entire first page. The, the oldest individual is 10 years old. I have a number of one-year-olds on my list. And when I first looked at it, um, you know, you're only a civilized person if you, if you start crying a little bit. Henriette Schindler, six. You know, one of the core lessons and, and things people know is, is to remember and never forget. You hear that a lot. 25. The big reason behind that is because if we, if we forget, it will. Not it can, but it will happen again. Pearl Finkelstein, 54. The past six months, almost to the day, are perfect reminders of that. As the grandson of Holocaust survivors, it um, feels like it hits me particularly hard uh, to grow up in a, in a household where these things were, were real, um, and to see them then in, in my lifetime is, um, it's scary, it's frustrating, um, and you can't help but say to yourself, I'm not gonna sit in my chair and do nothing. We need to remember what happened. We need to teach, we need to teach our young people in particular what hate and prejudice can do. Anti-Semitism is alive and well, unfortunately. I'm going to be here to fight against it as long as I possibly can. And that's what we hear from so many of the Holocaust survivors, many of whom actually do live in the Tampa Bay area. And they say as long as they are alive, they're going to talk about it as painful as it is because we cannot repeat history. And the next generations need to carry yeah. that on because yeah. many of them don't know the Holocaust story, which is horrifying. Six million Jews killed.